Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know, I know I have not posted a video for more than 4 months, but don't worry baby, today I've got an educational video for you. 5 things not to do when you are a beginner digital author. From personal experience. Number 1. Feeling you are not as talented as the bigger artists. If you are a beginner, you are still new to drawing apps no matter if it's Krita, Clip Studio Paint or even Medibang or Procreate. You are still new to the app and you will need time to familiarize yourself with the tools. It's going to be confusing at first, so when you try new things out, your art piece won't be as pleasing as you thought it would be. And as you grow your social media account, you'll start to encounter big beautiful artists with wonderful art pieces, and you will feel overwhelmed. But never feel like you are not talented and you will never be like them. You will. It just needs time and practice and those big artists with beautiful art pieces have all been there as well as me but as time goes the skills improves and so does your RP. number two asking the wrong people for advice when i started i always asked my friends or my parents opinion on my art and mostly do reply like yes it's good i actually really like it Oh my gosh, I like how you put the palette But in reality, the face was off, the color was off. Yes, it is important to encourage new artists to continue with art despite they are not doing so good at the beginning. But as an artist yourself, you must be able to accept criticism because that is how you improve your art piece. Unless you want to stay in your Delulu bubble and never want to improve. Number three, tracing. Yes, tracing. Before I create any problem, firstly, it is fine to trace for practice only. But it is never fine to trace other people's artwork and take it as your own. It's like someone stole your book and changed the cover page just to portray it as theirs. I have been drawing digitally for almost 3 years now. And I can see if a person traced the piece or not. It's quite obvious if you ask. The reason why I think some beginner artists trace is because they cannot accept the fact that they are bad at drawing. Which goes back to my previous point. So they're kind of lying to themselves. And as an artist, you are never bad at drawing unless you refuse to practice. Number 4. Buy an expensive device to start your digital art journey. Like most artists, I started with drawing on paper and later I started drawing with my finger on the very old Samsung tablet with the app Iris Paint. Shout out to the app that carried all the broken artists. I've seen people even using their finger to draw on their phone. It's never about the device or the stationery you need, it's the skills. If you don't have the skills, those gadgets would be a waste of money as well. So before you actually realize you have a passion for digital art, don't waste money to buy a Wacom Cintiq Pro 24. First, start with what you have, then slowly invest onto what you actually need. Number five, deleting your old art. Personally, I am guilty of this. I can't help it. It is just so bad. But wait, the reason why I said don't delete your old art is because when you look back, you can see how much you have improved. If you don't see much improvement, it just means you need to practice more. Every time when I feel down about my art piece, I go look back at my old art piece and be like, well, I've come so far and improved so much. It's kind of like a confident boost if you ask me. More importantly, it also reminds you doing art is not a job, it's a journey. We all start somewhere, but we'll never end somewhere. We just continue to improve ourselves until the day we die. So don't delete your art. Let other people look how ugly your old art is. And when they look at your latest art piece, they'll be in awe. I mean, every time when people see my before and after art piece, they follow my account because it's encouraging to some young artists and it's quite an easy way to gain new followers on Instagram. Yeah, so that's it for my video and good luck on your art journey. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. See y'all later.